All right, coming up next, a matchup for the UFC heavyweight division title. Well, for a long time, he's been mentioned with the baddest men on the planet. For a long time, though, the title fight eluded him. Not anymore. Here he is, the number one heavyweight contender, finally making this walk and cracking a smile. He's waited a long time for this. He's not expecting a 25-minute war. He believes he has the power and the skills to get this thing done quickly. I guess we'll find out. So here he is making his way to the Octagon for another heavyweight title defense. This has been the baddest man on the planet now for several years, and he has taken on all comers more often than not, leaving them twitching on the canvas. Knockout power for days. The question is tonight, with a challenge like this, can he walk out the way he came in as the undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world? the tape for this heavyweight championship fight. More than a decade separates these two fighters when it comes to the age, with big differences in height and reach. We send it inside the octagon to Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Herb Dean. This is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold-out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City, it's time! Five rounds for the undisputed UFC Heavyweight Championship of the World. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet six inches tall, weighing in at 265 pounds. Fighting out of Mecca, Saudi Arabia, presenting the challenger, the Nightman. And now, introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 135 pounds, fighting out of Hong Kong. Ladies and gentlemen, presenting a reigning, defending, undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, Lee! All right, this is for the championship. You can give me your instructions in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. You will have a clean fight. Touch gloves, just make it official. They touch him up, and we are underway. Ready. Outstanding matchup of strikers. Any chance this thing hits the canvas? I don't believe so. I think when you have two high-level strikers like you have in these two men, they're going to go to the center of the octagon, and it's going to be a kickboxing match. A kickboxing match that you would see in a ring. Tonight, you get to watch it inside of an octagon. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by the gentleman. Left hand punch to the clinch. Checks the leg kick. A oh, little single collar tie there. Well, we told you off the top he had the reach advantage, and you saw it right there with that punch. Man, 
striking class is in session. Beautiful punch there. Great job landing. What a damaging punch. Pretty strong jab there by Lee. Oh, man, head kick lands. Closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. Oh, beautiful jab there, man. It's like you know what's coming, can't stop it. I mean, you have to anticipate that jab coming, or he will batter and bruise you with that single strike. That jab is fast. Look at that jab. Big punch land over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? The right hook to the body. advantage off the top of the show certainly paid dividends for him there just over three minutes now to go in round one under three minutes remain in round one look at him with the hip into that kick all right he'll engage in a single collar tie Strong kick to the outside of that lead leg for him there. You do not want to eat too many of those. No, you can't. He does not wind up on that kick. He somehow is manages to land it with so much force. Oh, how about this kicking game on full display tonight? Kick back to back is truly mixing up the target. Sight to behold. That was a thudding leg kick. Big pulse punch lands. Now he gets back to range. Superman punch, not always easy to execute. He did so there. Now connects with the right. Just out of range with that right hand. Check some of these. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? That right hand hurt him a little bit. Well, he's got the longer reach, and he certainly showed it there in landing that straight punch. Lands with the kick there. No pad on that foot. No shit guard. He's taking all of that kick every time he throws. He's back in the clip position. This is where he has done a ton of good work here. Punch, punch, punch to the head. From the clinch. Nice move to punch. Just out of range with that right hook. Right hand upstairs. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Oh, here comes the kick. That one blocked by Lee. Nice one, two there. Nice job to land a knee to the body, man. And he landed the right hand there. Well, he keeps going back to the well with that left hand. Just keep this down. That's one of those shots, and if you take one of them, they can end the night that will land it right on the spot. Look at him and trying to shut the liver down. How about those five minutes? Let's take a look back at some of the replays, DC, and if you like the kicking game, that was the round for you. Yeah, man, he used his kicks beautifully. He managed distance, managed space, and eventually those kicks started to really take an effect on his opponent and slow him down. He has to stay the course next round. All right, so after he landed a high number of kicks in the previous round, we'll see if he can keep it going here as our next round gets under. He should stay the course. He's so educated with his legs and his feet.
that he's given his opponent a very difficult time trying to anticipate what's coming his way. Oh, body kick attempt here, it's no good. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. All right, so he's landed some good shots. You hate to be overly critical, but nothing really in terms of combinations tonight. Well, the jab has been looking great. How about jab, jab, right hand? Right. Because eventually you're gonna have to put something on your opponent that's gonna really make him pause. I believe the jab has been working so well, if he drops a big right hand after it, he may be able to finish his fight. Nice straight punch. Ooh, blocks the shot. Lands the right hand. Straight right hand now, just misses. in the night. Well, you saw his reference in the tail to take DC. He's got the reach advantage and certainly made good use of it there in landing that jab. Fans with the right hand. Offensive fight. Nice job to block the shot there. Just over three minutes to go. Just kick to the outside of that lead leg. You gotta start checking these, man. Check these kicks, or you're gonna be limping around the octagon very short. Check yourself before you wreck yourself. So a much different approach from him here in round two. Took him a while to find the range, get in his striking rhythm. He has found it here, and as a result, has really picked up the pace in round two. Oh, big punch land. How about that shin? All right, so both fighters now sort of struggling for position here in the clinch. When you find yourself in this situation, what do you do to get out of it? Anytime it's very tough. Anytime you chest to chest and you have nowhere to go, I think to myself, underhook. Whoever's winning the underhook is winning the clinch battle. And they set. Oh, an educated jab there. I could watch this dude jab all day. I mean, he's so light on his feet, and when he pops that jab, it comes right back to his face. Well, from a striking standpoint, he has put it all together tonight. He has landed a ton of significant strikes, and pretty easy fight, I would think, for the judges to score. It's a pretty easy fight to score. Tonight was a night where everything went right, and that doesn't happen very often. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These, he gets the takedown. All right, half guard position for him here, and I can hear Dominic Cruz in the back of my head just screaming about underhooks somewhere. Yeah, somehow. he loved, I mean, but he's right, right? He's so right in terms of if you're on your back in the half guard, one thing you can't be is flat on your back. You need to be up on an elbow. Right. You need to be half on the side, and you need to control the far side underhook. It is a battle for underhook when you're fighting in the half guard position on the back. A single collar tie. What a punch. Look at the torso on the right side. Major cruising, and it's only getting worse. Oh, hard work pays off. Lands the Superman punch flush. Throws the right hand there. Got clip with the right hand. Just missing on the uppercut there. Oh, he continues to land a high number of strikes in this round. Really hasn't let up when it comes to his aggressiveness. Certainly have to be mindful that you don't gas out, but you gotta like the output on display here. When you're in a clinch, you can pull down on the head and land these beautiful punches to the head. All right, some really grueling work here in the clinch. Both fighters really struggling to gain a dominant position. That happens whenever you understand the position. Both know exactly what they need to do. And when both fighters are trying to do the same thing, it's very, very difficult to get the desired result. 
All right, so there's the end of the round. He stayed committed to doing damage upstairs and landed a seminal blow in that round. It was accumulation of those strikes. He kept hitting him over and over to the head. Eventually, he found the, the one that really did damage his opponent. All right, DC, buckle up. Here we go with our next round. High number of kicks landed in the previous round, and he'll look to keep it going. He'll look to keep winning the fight with his kicks. He's throwing high kick, leg kick, body kick. He's even throwing a couple spin kicks in there. This guy is so educated with fighting with his legs. Well, not only has he stayed aggressive as he was in the previous round, landing a high volume of strikes, but he's also been efficient, not just with his strikes, but also with his body movement. Complete performance out of this fighter here tonight. Oh, massive head kick there. We'll see if he can finish. It's a big knee. Big leg kick land. Plus right hand is true. And they separate. It's very tricky when he throws that body kick. You can't take many of those, you better check. Huge block there. Splits the guard, lands the right hand. Cutting them down to size with these beautiful leg kicks. They continue to exchange. Oh, nice job by him there to slip that off. What a great way of mixing up his attack. He didn't stay the course. He mixed it up. He went high. He thought he was going low. And now he's got him hurt very badly. Oh, spinning back fist. He didn't telegraph that one at all. Now he's got that tight clinch. Right hand upstairs. Oh, nice connection there with a the punch, DC. Great time to land that punch. Oh, he's really starting to apply pressure on his opponent here. Different approach here in the last couple rounds. And it's the exact sense of urgency that you want to see from a fighter take the judges out of it. Beautiful kick. Collar tie here. Big knee land. So another jab for him there. Again, we keep talking about this reach advantage, but he is certainly making good use of it in this matchup tonight. Trying to go to the body now with the kick. That one misses. And a nice job at least staying upright on that. Right. Look at how fast. The only person I can do this to is Baby John. John, the weight difference. I don't know if you know if you get too much. You miss a lot of your class. If I'm gonna do this to anybody, it's Anik. All right, he's trying to control posture here. Now trying to hip escape. He's just trying to move out of this position off the bottom. Well, any time you are in a ground fighting situation with this fighter, you're potentially playing with fire. All right, he's got the hooks in, DC, working off of his back. Now look for him to attack the neck of his opponent to try to get the rear choke. All right, half guard position here. We'll see what he can do with it. A lot of weapons at his disposal from this dominant position. Oh, man. I feel for a wrestler, this is the most dominant position in all of fighting because wrestlers love control. Right. And to have your upper body free and your leg able to hold your opponent in position, it is like striking gold. Build your posture. Throw your punches, big damage, but then always control the far side. Underhook, this is a great position for a top fighter. Oh, he's got it going now. Nice connection there, DC. Another punch land. Nice counter with the hook shot there by Lee. Man, 
it looks like he's trying to set records here, landing all of these strikes. He is aggressive to a fault and really has been all night long as he continues to pour it on. Got to be careful here, though, not to gas out. All right, lands a kick there. Pretty well done. Really good accuracy landing that kick. Oh, he counters with a beautiful jab to the head. We told you off the top, he's got a decided advantage in reach, and he put it to good use there. Well, he has certainly found the range and staying pretty busy here on his feet. He's being busy, but it's also the timing and the accuracy that's allowing him to land so many attacks. Lee going for the head kick. No dice. Oh, a huge block there. I'm not sure the extent to which he has recovered, but we do see the end of the round. DC, talk us through the replay. Well, he's a tough guy. He's going to make it to the stool. He's going to survive unless you put him completely out of there. Unfortunately, he's in there with a guy that does have that ability. All right, so here we go with our fourth round of a possible five. And a lot of fighters change up their training camp when they're fighting five rounds versus three. Yeah, you got to change it up. You have to mix things up because fighting for an extra minutes is not normal. Guys don't do this normally. It's a 15-minute fight, so you have to do things physically and also mentally to make sure that you're ready to go to that extra 10 minutes. Whip his hip into that kick. Punches in bunches, and he hasn't really shown any signs of slowing down here tonight. I'm not sure how much more his opponent can take. Single collar tie now. As he gets close, he's out of the kicking range. He'll, start, he'll change his stance. Oh, and he lands another huge knee there as the taller fighter uses his length well yet again. Nice punch lands over the top. Liver kick. Oh, huge block. And a nice jab there, champ. The jab was a lost art in mixed martial arts. Guys have found it, and they are fighting behind it real well. Look at the whip action that comes from him throwing that kick. Try to establish that jab. Oh, collar tie. Great punch. Oh, Superman punch is good. That jab snapped his head back. His jab gets to the target so fast, and he always brings his hand right back to his face. Beautiful body kick lands right under the elbow. Lands flush with that right hand. And both guys really throwing with authority. And now he's got that tie clinch. We'll see what he can do with it. Real sneaky body kick. Kick to the body here. That one appeared to be blocked. Big punch land. Oh, and he gets tagged. Nice combination there, and might not be a bad idea for the opposition to just tweak that head off the yeah. center. He was landing one before. Now he's throwing everything in combination, and they're all landing. Two minutes remain in the round. Big liver kick lands under the elbow. Lee gets hit with a kick. That one appeared to land flush. Able to check the high kick. Lee going for the leg kick. Nothing doing there. All right, single collar tie now. Oh, oh, he was there. He could be in trouble. He's in trouble. 
He's hurt bad. He doesn't know if he's in the octagon or his mama's house on Thanksgiving. Dude's hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Knock him out. The fight's done. Right punches there. Nice kick. Well, he felt like he had to kick effectively to win this fight, and he is certainly doing that right now. Nice combination of kicks. His kickboxing coach is feeling ecstatic right now, watching the guy employ this kick-heavy strategy. Good punch. Lands an outside leg kick of his own. Under a minute to go in round four. Oh! Oh! You don't really stand after you take a head kick like this. That is such toughness to even be on the right now. Well, it's one thing to have length. It's another thing to use it, and he does it as well as anyone. Nice kick there by Lee. Well, he is at his kickboxing best tonight. Another nice good series of kicks by him. I mean, the kicks are coming in bunches. Normally, it's the hands. Tonight, he's going kick after kick after kick. Trying to inflict some damage here, but misses with the kick. 20 minutes down, potentially five to go. All right, there's the end of the round. So it was a huge strike to the head that stunned his opponent and, and nearly got him out of there. Yeah, that was a big moment. A big strike lands, his opponent's on wobbly legs. That is exactly what, what you want to see as you're walking back to your stool. Your opponent's staggering back to his corner and being hopeful that he can get it back together before the start of the next round. All right, next round getting underway here, and both fighters still look pretty fresh to me. Clearly, DC, they put in the right work when it came to the cardio during training. They both have reputation for vast cardio. You see in the training that they do at their gyms that cardio is key, and you watch it in the way that these two fighters perform. Look at the angle of that nice body kick. Just unable to quite find that range. Look at him chopping the wood. Chopping the wood with those leg kicks. Oh, and he connects with a the punch there, DC. You like this guy. I like this guy a ton. And to watch his punch like this, put the power on my Oh, he landed that kick to the outside of the lead leg there, DC. He is chopping up that leg. They say chop down the tree. You beat your opponent by slowing him down first with those nice outside leg kicks. And now they are throwing both sides with conviction. Looked like he clipped him with a left hand counter there. Right under the elbow. Five feet land. Hey, set him up. Set him up. Just missed with the leg kick. And he caught the kick. We'll see what he can do with it. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. Right hand punch from the clinch. Whoa! Whoa! the score. How's his opponent still stand? I mean, I have no idea. This fight is supposed to be over. And it might not be over now, but it's going to be over very soon. Lee's kick to the body is blocked. Oh, that's a nice strike. And now he lands a combination. Three minutes now to go to decide this one. And he counters with a left hand. All right, it's late in the fight now. I don't need to be a judge to tell you that he is clearly losing. What is a fighter's mentality when you know you need a finish or you're getting an effort? This is when you got to go to the Nate Diaz mentality. Kill or be killed. You got to throw everything at your opponent. Because if this thing goes to the judges, you are not going to win this fight. Right hand on point. Oh, beautiful strike there as he lands up top, and he does so right after catching the leg. So maybe you thought he would catch the leg and go for a takedown. Instead, he goes for the punch, and he certainly found the range on that one. Oh, and he connects with a punch there, DC. You gotta like what you're seeing. Big strike lands. Big strike lands. Now he looks to try to chase down that pick. He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. 
pads. Oh, late defense on the takedown and scrambles to his feet nicely done. Oh! All right, under two minutes now to decide this one. Well, no surprises, he connects once again, and that looked like it landed right on that cut. Right on the lead, gets the double leg takedown. Nice job there, disguising his entry. All right, DC, half guard position here. You've done a lot of good work in this spot in your career. Oh, man, I love this position, and you see this fighter today loves it too. It is the most secure position in fighting. You get an underhook on one side, you keep a half guard on the other, and then you just go to work. It's the safest position, especially for a wrestler. Good punch, Lance. Over and over, he's landed these big bodies. Not there. One minute to go in the fight. Oh, perfect timing on the Superman punch. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. 45 seconds remain in the round. Great punch landed with so much power. Nice. <laughs> 30 seconds now to go in the fight. Oh, I love the jab. I know you love the jab. That was a nice one. It's my favorite punch in all the fight. 20 seconds to go in the fight. in the single collar tie. Big kick land. <laughs> All right, so a competitive title fight tonight, Daniel, as many expected. 25 minutes, not enough to determine a winner. Slight lean to the champion or what? I do believe he's still champion, but that's why he's the champion. Because when the challenges are the biggest, he usually will step up. The official decision is now in. It resides with Bruce Buff. Ladies and gentlemen, after five rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. All three judges score the contest. 49-46. Declaring the winner by unanimous decision, and still the undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, Lee. All right, so a big result for a big man tonight as his star continues to shine. Congratulations to the still UFC heavyweight champion of the world. The baddest man on the planet is standing in the middle of that octagon right now. Over and over, you see him get new belts. The UFC heavyweight